Okay, so I'm feeling a little squirrely, and I figured I'd do a second video tonight. Now this one's going to be really quick, and it's on an 8x10 uh, Bockingford cream paper. And it's going to be, for me it's a shrimp boat, for you it could be any type of boat you want. So I'm just kind of sketching in the idea of where the bow is going to be. It's going to be coming mainly towards us, but kind of going out on an angle. Now, it's going to be a very quick painting, but the reason I want to do this one is that I want to, I don't know, maybe challenge you all to see it the way I'm seeing it, I'm just making up scene. I just wet up a little bit with the uh, small hake brush. I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine and kind of put it in there. And what I've been doing lately on some of these is putting a light bit one side and another side. Okay? Then, getting a stronger amount. Getting some water in there, so I got it there, and I'm kind of feeding it on the other side. Okay, so I kind of covered up the one a little bit. I don't really mean to do that, but I'm just getting the idea in there. Okay. Now, then wetting it, kind of casually wetting the paper, not getting everything. So it's just some spots. I'm still working on the sky. Now, I'm going to take some raw sienna. And I'm playing a little bit on the edge of this. Alright. So a little bit of raw sienna. And I think on the last one I did, I kind of swooped one up through. Alright. Now take some burnt sienna and I apologize if I keep on saying now but it's something that I've been playing with and in my mind I see one thing and I'm curious if y'all see it or if I'm forcing it in my mind so I'm coming across just this is just a mixture of burnt sienna and the um, ultramarine some burnt umber so I'm just playing with it to see if I can get it to happen I'm trying to go fast and loose that there's an effect that I've been having happen and you might be like okay you're an idiot and <laughs> obviously that's what's taking place but let's see okay so I'm doing that in the sky dab out a little bit. Now, very quickly with that little bit, and I feel silly saying this, so I feel like I'm having three layers taking place in terms of 3D perspective. The one, two, and three. The, the distance, kind of sitting over it, and then another layer on top. And you can kind of push it further. I mix in some Payne's Gray with some burnt umber. And I wonder if you all are seeing what I'm seeing, where I'm getting the three layers of depth and I'm curious how many layers of depth we should try to achieve for a sky I've mentioned in the last video I've been painting since June with a watercolor painting 
and this video is um, in March, so it's been less than a year. And with something like this, with a sky painting, should we have one, two, three, maybe even four layers taking place? I don't know. That's what's going on in my mind. So I challenge you to do this one. This next part, I'm just going to take some Prussian blue. Let's go. Wham. Swoop it up. We'll get a little bit of the rough seas. Ultramarine. We'll go wham. And we have that boat that we're going to put in there. And Payne's Gray. And this will all kind of blend together and work well. Now let me dry this off. Little bit of Payne's Gray with the Ultramarine for the darker side. More blue aspect for this. Now the boat recedes. Back. This isn't the best brush for this. I'm going to just switch to this guy. Round. Darken that side more. With the shrimp boats, uh, since that's what I'm doing, this is a common thing down here. We got the net. Um. Now for the rest of this, I'll just have a little bit of fun. But at this point, I could just consider it done if I wanted to. Not the best shape, but it is whatever. We get a little bit of the alizarin crimson on the hake. And... Do a little bit of dry brush. I've been kind of obsessing over this swirl pattern in the sky, and that kind of gives that as well. So anyway, the main point of this video was to see one, two, three, four, uh, uh, the layers that are taking place, even another one added with that, and if that's what we should be trying to achieve with sky paintings. Um... This is the way to go about doing it. The whole swirl pattern. Um, I know it sounds weird, but I feel like if you're supposed to look up into the painting and imagine it's overhead. Um, and then this is a very fast and loose ocean, so maybe you guys find that interesting. Anyway, we'll just call it at that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave comments, feedback, let me know what you think. Feel free to try it.